Hi Lunar Souls. This timeless tarot session is for the collective, any and all signs. And I am recording on the day that Mercury retrograde has squared Mars um, in Aquarius during Aquarius season 2021. And so I am hoping to um, illuminate the effects of that transit for the collective specifically, but it is a timeless reading. So of course you may connect with the message at any time. But if you are watching around the time of the, um, the Mercury retrograde squared with, with Mars, um, we also do have the Aquarius new moon tomorrow and the, um, we have Venus uh, conjunct Jupiter tomorrow as well. So we may, may see those energies showing up, um, but I'll, I will do another reading for the collective um, for, for each of those uh, energies as well. And those will be up very soon. And I just did yesterday, uh, posted a reading um, that I was hoping would illuminate the effects of the, the sun conjunct Mercury retrograde. Um, so I, I actually began the reading on the 8th and then finished on the 9th and posted on the 9th, but I was ho looking to illuminate those effects. So if you were still more interested in that, um, there's a reading for you to take a look at as well. So let's move forward with um, messages late on the night of the 10th still my time anyway uh, which is the same time zone as as uh you know new york time eastern standard time and we've got the seven of swords here this is looking to me um it's the shadowscapes tarot deck that we're using the seven of swords uh is feeling like to me um yes someone's stealing away uh, and yes, someone uh, masked, masking themselves, as maybe you noticed. Um, but but that to me is is feeling and sounding like um, uh, someone finally doing some traveling, uh, maybe stealing away, just putting a mask on and doing the traveling that needs to be done. Maybe doing it, I don't know if that's close or far, but just doing it the way that it needs to be done. Um, and, and maybe also someone sort of stealing away, like, um, pulling ahead in some type of race, but, but, um, you know, I don't, not necessarily a physical, literal race. Two sixes, uh, are the first cards out for you. Six of wands, six of pentacles. So we're searching for some balance at this time. Um, someone's searching for some balance here and finding it, um, and finding it. We see a, a, a humbling victory for someone. And I think, um, a lesson learned or, or more fully realized about, um, Getting back what you give, um, getting rewards that uh, reflect, directly reflect, maybe even directly equate to, you know, with one's efforts, with what um, energy one was willing to, to invest. I see the world card a second time coming through for you. The Wheel of Fortune energy came through for us as well when, when shuffling and meditating with the decks. Ten of Swords, a uh, painful ending to a negative cycle, but someone feeling free at the end of this. The Ten of Wands, uh, another... Or the two of wands. I'm sorry, the two and the three of wands. The high priestess is here as well. There's another ten. So we do have two tens um, on the table. An indication of 
uh, an ending to a, a negative painful cycle, but it looks like it is a rebirth. So I think that's enough cards for us. They, they would probably just want to just keep flying out, but I may use the, uh, another deck for us here. Kim Kranz, um, wild unknown tarot here. I think we can fit the nine of swords on the table for us as well. Yeah, we'll, we'll stick this down here. Okay. So this, this humbling victory and either um, beginning to, to, to put in efforts to, to get back equal rewards or, or seeing that exchange through um, is, I think, a painful ending to a negative cycle. But again, it, it frees someone here. So I think someone's making the decision to, to move into that energy or through that energy um, to be, again, begin that exchange of energy or, or to wrap that up. Likely, likely because of an intuitive knowing um, it's, it's likely a, a, an intuitive knowing, at least a, a psych, if not a psychic inclination, uh, or, or if not advised by, by uh, some type, sort of psychic energy. You know, the, 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 this leads them into and through this humbling victory, I think. And what's on the other side of this ending is this rebirth really is beginning to plan one's future, using one's free will to create one's own destiny, really deciding and planning out the next couple of steps and years to come. That's, that's the freedom that this, that wrapping up this cycle allows. And it, it is, it looks like it is a cycle of shared emotional fulfillment that is being wrapped up. It's interesting. It's like, it's a cycle of shared emotional fulfillment And yet we see that it is a painful ending to a negative cycle. So it's likely that what we're seeing here is that something was unequal. Something wasn't balanced. And now that's why this victory leads to, um, again, like this, this acceptance or realization uh, that, that more needs to be invested on someone's behalf, on one side or the other, in order for this to be truly emotionally fulfilling in a shared way for, for, for all parties involved. So it's like a painful cycle that is wrapped up with a neat bow and like this emotional shared emotional fulfillment is finally reached, but there had to be this humbling battle um, where someone or more than, than one person, but even the victor is, is changed, is, is, is coming out the other side of, of that battle, a, a different person in order for this, this equality to be realized in order for this equal exchange of energy to be made real, to, to be completely realized. Uh, so it's, I think that's what we're seeing here. It's bittersweet. It's painful, but it's freeing. It's like, it's hard and sad that it took this humbling battle to get this even exchange, but, but now someone, well, really everyone involved is free from that cycle. It's over. And again, I see like this neat bow sort of at the end, at the end, finally, finally there is someone investing what they need to in order to get back what they want here. And it is com a complete, a complete death of a situation and, and truly really in that a complete rebirth 
of a situation. It is also, I think, with the world card here, a, a type of sort of graduating to a next level in some area of, of someone's life here um, or, or just a, a starting a new chapter is maybe a better way to say it. And we had the world card there twice. So, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's a negative, painful ending to a cycle that was about achieving shared emotional fulfillment. I think it, it leads to shared emotional fulfillment um, in a couple of different senses. You know, someone does finally get what they need in this situation, but also um, I have the five of cups here as well. Um, but also, you know, when they begin their next cycle, they really know what they're looking for here in any sort of an emotional partnership, not necessarily romantic, but could be, uh, they really know what they're looking for here now. And so it, it, in a more, even more distant sense, it leads, I think, to, to shared emotional fulfillment as well. And then you know, in the, in the more immediate future though, it seems like someone's really focusing on expanding their own personal, maybe career related, um, you know, business or education related horizons. Ace of pentacles here. Um, so with, you know, the wands and the pentacles there, it looks like it is a spiritual journey for someone that's beginning, uh, you know, for sure after this rebirth with this rebirth, really. Um, and, and the steps two and three after that, even, you know, that it looks like it might be creative for some, but then with the ace of pentacles here, I see that it's also involving a physical opportunity. It feels like a new day. And an opportunity that improves someone's health and or wealth. Um, so, you know, if it is, even if it is creative or educational, there's also um, someone having their sights eventually on the, the physical manifestation of uh, how this, you know, turns into sustenance for them. So um, let me see where we're at time-wise. Yeah, I think that's about about what we needed to to know here. It is not just the ending of a painful cycle and not just an, you know, not just the wrapping up of a cycle that's that's emotional and intense, but a major life chapter. That I think, you know, you've sensed coming on. Um, and we could even be talking about moving more toward the full moon at the at the end of the month if you are connecting with this um, in February. But again, it, whenever you're connecting with it, whatever full moon is is approaching, um, I see that in this card as well. Even though that's not exactly what's here, um, this this you've had this. I think uh, you've had this. I think anxious sense, anxious, worrying, fearful sense um, as this death approaches, and it's actually a very positive freeing thing i believe for for you here um uh, connecting with the message w which again you know destiny and expansion um new opportunities even new physical opportunities as well as emotional are on the other side of this victory humbling bittersweet but victory uh, a hard ending but uh, a, a destined and much needed freeing new beginning um, and some some mourning has needed to take place, you know, with this anxiety building up, it, it's maybe felt fearful and worrying, but there's, like I said, again, freedom on the other side of it. Hermit card is here with us too. So there may be, um, I, I am feeling a Virgo energy that is very critical to this situation for many of you or, or Virgo energy in you. Again, I, I think I may have said Pis Pisces energy. I also see Scorpio energy that could be very um, integral to the situation, either in your own chart or someone close to you dealing that you're dealing with here. Um, but I think, you know, that anxiety is leading you just to having a mourning period. Let yourself mourn for a reasonable amount of time that which is left behind here. Sure. Again, there is emotional fulfillment achieved here. Or this can also be speaking to the fact that there was at one time, for sure. Definitely. 
So um, that's what I see coming through for us um, and in this um, particular lunar pool. I do hope that the messages were able to help. And um, yeah, if you're interested in a personal reading, just scroll down to the description box down below to check out those, those options. And I'm, I'm sending you so much love, all of you. Thank you for listening, liking, donating, subscribing, commenting, all of that good stuff. Um, tomorrow's message will be here soon. Bye, loves.